We realized in our research that water is a broadband absorber, receiver, and transmitter of energy frequency and vibration. And just so you know, a uh, uh, famous scientist, Nikola Tesla, uh, actually said famously that if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy frequency and vibration. And water is the actual medium through which all of this happens. So to cut the long story short and to have the time to, to, to tell the benefits of it, um, since this water is um, what we call an electromagnetic phenomenon, we wanted to see what's going to, what, what is the most electromagnetic part of human being. It's our brain waves. So what we did, we did a double blind test with identical twins. Identical twins is when you do a study with identical twins, it's always the gold standard because you have two genetically identical human beings. So what we did, we uh, put QEEG equipment on their heads and we monitored their brain waves. And what we did, we gave the doctor administering the test didn't know which water was rich and twins didn't know which one was rich. But one twin actually drank analemma water from the glass and the other one drank regular water. And almost as soon as the twin that drank analemma water took a sip of this water, there was almost instant better connection between the left and the right hemisphere of the brain and almost instant cooling effect on the brain waves, while the other twin didn't experience anything. Now, that was really something remarkable to observe. Uh, what we did is a couple of weeks later, we repeated the experiment and we gave analemma water to the other twin. And since the, these, are, these two are genetically identical tw twins, we saw exactly the same phenomenon as we saw with the first one. So there was really irrefutable evidence that something remarkable happens. But what actually is happening? Like, what is the benefit of what is happening? That's where I'm confused at. Cool, totally. I mean, it, now it's going to get a bit scientific. So since, uh, since uh, water is, as I mentioned, water is a broadband absorber, receiver, and transmitter of energy frequency and vibration, it's always going to pick up the dominant, the most dominant frequency of its environment. When we realized this in our research, we actually picked up the famous, uh, we, the whole lab with all the scientists of the famous uh, uh, German scientist, uh, Dr. Fritz Albert Popp. Uh, uh, so he actually developed this biophoton technology, which we used in the beginning to actually measure uh, the changes uh, of water. So uh, uh, the key element is when we realized that water is always going to pick up the most dominant frequency of its environment, our whole quest was to create the most dominant positive frequency water there is. Because we knew that if we would expose any other water to it, all of the water will pick up exactly the same frequency. That's why it works. So when you take a glass of NLM water and you drink it since 99% of our molecules of water, they instantly pick up that particular frequency. And as I mentioned, there is almost instant effect on the brainwaves. And this is very, very measurable and very, very repeatable. 